Hey, it's Scott's Test Dummies. We're bringing you Buffalo Trace Single Barrel. It's new. We got it. Let's test it. Test it! Scotch test dummies. I'm Scott. Bored here. At coin 105. Woo! Buffalo Trace. I got, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Mm. Buffalo Trace makes some good stuff. Yes. Even the standard Buffalo Trace, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, $25 price range, kind of a go-to bourbon. I go bought to. it several times right. just to have. Yes. So this came into the liquor store. I saw it's got a little tag on it that says single barrel select. Not moving. 2016. Not moving. <laughs> now what, the, well, what these are are kind of store specific or a store can buy a barrel and then have it bottled. I love the sound of that. But this one was marked. Um, barrel number 455. Barrel number 455. And from what uh, the liquor store said or the distributor picked the barrel. Mm. Or maybe they got a few barrels that are distributor did then they they sent them out so this wasn't a store specific one distributor specific love the idea you know the only thing though that copper sticker kind of blends in with the the whiskey mm -hmm. <clears throat> and i didn't see it at first unless you get it shining i, I wouldn't i don't know if i would have even picked that up yeah well wow, that was well done how you did that <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh, this yeah. is one where I might not have even noticed. Yeah, you, it, it looks the same. In yeah. fact, is the store told me said, "Hey, we got some uh, Buffalo Trace single barrel mm -hmm. in." Yeah, and looks explain, the same. A single barrel just means that they're working the bottlings off of one single barrel. A lot of times they'll vat them all. They'll pull multi pour multiple barrels into a container. Yeah, you could be talking 20, yeah. 30, 40, 50 yep. uh, barrels of and then they bottle. poured together. Right. And just to get that bottle. consistency. So it's kind of nice to, you can get some distinct differences when you have just a single barrel. Yeah, so. because they age differently. They sit in different corners of the warehouse, Right. blah, blah, blah. 45% um, also, one of the better ABVs. I agree. I like. Big time. I like when they hit 46%, quite mm -hmm. honestly. So the closer they can get to it, the better. Now, I wanted to bring something up that's a little off of this, but... You had Claire. Oh, uh-huh. Um, she uh. went off of your recommendation for a bourbon. I know it wasn't this, so we'll just be quick on it. What happened there and what kind of pressure has this put under well, you? Well, that fact is, is one of the best bourbons I've had, if not the best, is right. from, is a Buffalo Trace release. Bingo, kind of ties in there. Yeah, yes. but it's from the antique collection and it's the 2015 George Stag. Right. Uh, and a lot of people have said that matter of Which fact. Which they call the BTAC. BTAC edition. Right. So um, Claire's getting married, and she went out and sourced or got a bottle of 2015 yeah. George T. Stag BTAC just for her wedding day. Right. And if you guys haven't seen our video on that, go take a look um, because you even end up well. You rated it as your number one whiskey of 2015, and then you got the BTAC 16 year release. Mm -hmm. You still think that's great, but you had this distinctive palette where you're like not as good as the 2015 mm -hmm. and you really were like bam i mean the 15 just knocked your socks off motor to boom so she goes and finds this old 2015 bottle had to be pricey i'm sure she's now probably telling like people i'm under pressure yeah now. that's what i'm saying yeah, I, was I, like, gotta, wow. I gotta perform on her wedding day that sounds inappropriate <laughs> <laughs> maybe you're a singer you're like a wedding singer yes. but you're the whiskey selector but I thought, yeah, because you know she's going to be telling people, boom, this bottle I got based on Scott's review and the 20, and then they try it and I'm like, ew. Yeah. I'm but I don't think that'll happen. I don't think that'll happen. Right. So, but I, I thought that was impressive. I mean, that was really impressive that you've, you've talked about it so much. She decides this is going to be, and, and hello, who's the lucky groom? Can you imagine? I mean, we go way back in time when we got married, but your wife's like, hey. I've gotten something a little bit expensive uh, to celebrate on our wedding day. And I'd be thinking, oh boy, she got like a pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're really nice. 
it's a really nice gift. And then she's like, boom, BTAC 2015. I'd be like, what? I'd be like, you gotta be kidding me. I'd be like, I'm marrying the right woman. Well, I, I guess I about said, well, maybe we weren't supposed to say anything. Maybe it's gonna be a surprise, but Ooh. she did tweet it out. Oh, good call there. I so, started getting nervous. I know. Like, are we going to have to move this way back in the line? If she tweeted it out, it must she not be She tweeted it, it's public. That's the key. It's public if it's tweeted. So what are you getting on a nose? Vanilla. Yes. <laughs> Oak. Like jumping. And caramel. Up. It's like the vanilla is jumping up and down and doing jumping jacks in the Glen Karen. <laughs> I'm sorry. After the vanilla, what was your next one? Caramel yeah. and oak. Wow. Wow. That vanilla is so much in there, but you're right. It moves almost into like a, uh, into the Brock's hard candied caramel. And if you notice, neither me nor Bart have notes. We're going right. from this tasting right here. Right. I've, I've tried this, but I didn't do the notes on it. Me too. Know. Me too. You know, the oak's kind of in the background here. I get a slight medicinal and near the end which I think is just the alcohol that's carrying through. Love that 45%. But boy, is it vanilla, vanilla, mm. vanilla, side mm. straddle hop vanilla. Remember when they called it that? Side straddle hop, is that in the army? No. Yep. Yeah, it was, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Jumping jacks? <laughs> yeah, they didn't call them jumping jacks. It was a side straddle Yeah, hop. my mom used to say, when you were in the army, you did jumping jacks and went for mm. hikes. I'm thinking, that sounds more like camp. That was not the army. <laughs> Great vanilla, caramel, candy, sweetness. Oak. Mm. The higher ABV. It's perfect. Definitely says I'm here. I'm present. I'm letting you know. I love how that the alcohol actually wraps itself around in there. You are one under, you're talking candy corn like the little candies, mm, right? Because mm. that's the vanilla candy corn yeah. I get. Almost even a little bit of that waxy sweetness. Not a long lingering aftertaste, but I almost get like a uh, like a little bit of a spice, like a a hint of vanilla clove is what I would say in the aftertaste. Well, a lot of times with bourbon, you're going to get, and I've been searching to see if it's a wow. cinnamon. I don't want to say cinnamon. It's more of an allspice, a kitchen mm -hmm. nutmeg. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, to me, um, it's like a vanilla clove. I, I wouldn't have thought of those together, but I'm, yeah. I'm feeling those together. Hmm. Now, I think I think the single barrel part of this is, is, is shining through. Okay. Compared to the, the regular Buffalo Trace. Sounds like a Versus. Yeah, yeah, we should. Do you should be. Do we have a Buffalo do. Trace? I don't think I've got another Buffalo oh. Trace here. Uh, that would be a good one, but that I think be. I think the single barrel that it's really rich and full on the on the mouth on the palate. Okay. That I don't think is there with the with the standard Buffalo Trace. The standard Buffalo Trace still good, still delicious. This, like I say, I think that that single barrel part of it is, mm. is shining. Have you added any water? No. It changed it up just a bit. Um, a touch of water gave me uh, a little slight burst of citrus right at the front. It's gone. It's gone quick, but I got like a flash. Like a flash of lemon juice that didn't stick around, but it was like, poof, and then it was gone. Hmm. Brown sugar. I just got brown sugar. Okay. Wow. It's back there in the back of my palate, back behind my tongue. Mm. They're back in here, sitting. Just camping out. Camping out. <laughs> huh. The citrus change that that gave me is is uh, surprising. I didn't expect it. I, I didn't think it was going to change at all. I mean, it's not overpowering. Mm. Like I said, it's this little little spike that I got. Hmm. Mm. I don't know that it's a citrus. A definite more powdered sugar sweetness. Honey. Wow. Yeah, when you say powdered sugar, I get what you're talking about there. It's that dry sweetness almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I got, like like I said, it didn't linger. It was like a little spurt, like a little bit of lemon juice you were squeezing into your glass of water hmm. and popped mm -hmm. out and hit me in the mouth. Okay. Because <laughs> like, yeah. it was there and gone. Not, I, I, I almost hesitated to say anything, but it, it was there. Hmm. Huh. 
88 for me. Like that higher ABV. Um, as far as bourbons go, give it give it to me strong. Give it to me bourbon strong. Let's say you. 87. Yep, right there with you. Again, no plus or minus. You're I was going to say plus or minus one, which put, puts me right on track with you at 88. It does. It does. Except I just, well, you didn't. So no need to poke at the plus or minus because you didn't. I was going to. <laughs> I was going to, and I thought, well, you didn't do it. Yeah, this screams versus. I think we need to do uh, like a whole round when we sit down and shoot. We got to go like a versus and then a versus and a versus. Do like yeah. a week of versus. Yeah. Versus this, versus that. Of course, we got the big rye shootout that we keep talking about. People are going to be like, mm, teaser. Yeah. They're not doing it. Oh, it's coming. It. It's coming. <laughs> um, uh, for those that haven't, follow us on Patreon. We've gotten a lot of Patreon followers, subscribers on Patreon. If you don't know what it is, you can go in and just donate a dollar a month. You could do a dollar a show. We're doing about two shows or 10 shows a month. So that'd be $10. Uh, but even if you just did a dollar a month, it's great. Mm -hmm. We've moved to live shows. Um, there's been some production costs there. We've in increased our mics because the regular mics on our uh, laptops or computers weren't, wasn't as good. Um, you know, we got a new webcam, a webcam new that mic. you're using that I need to get because sometimes I'm remoting in from my home, my office. Uh, so please check us out on Patreon. Some, our goal in 2017 is actually to come up with a bunch of cool stuff for our Patreon super fans. So if you're a super fan, please come on to Patreon. We're talking about maybe, we get tons of samples that come in. and We'll, we'll only usually do a full bottle on our pre-recorded shows like this. But we're talking about doing some of the samples live. Or not live, but recorded for Patreon viewers only. Yeah. Um, and then we're even in the works of coming up with a unique Patreon backer reward level coin that's going to kick in at a, at a dollar amount. And we might even have like a uh, bronze, silver, gold style where when you get way up there, because we got some, some folks, guys and gals that are really helping to support us and the show and to keep it coming to you guys. So just go check us out on, uh, on Patreon. It's Patreon and then it's still Scotch Test Dummies. Mm -hmm. So cool. Anything else you want to add in? Yeah, you forgot something. I was going to get... There. Oh, is it worth it? How much? How much? What's a regular Buffalo Trace? I don't know. Twenty-five dollars. Wow, that's, that's a what steal. this is. This is twenty-five dollars, also. The exact same price. Yep. Wow, that is a go buy it. Definitely worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Now, do you know the Buffalo Trace ABV off the top of your head for the regular? I think bottle? it's forty-five, also. Okay, so they're keeping it the same. I believe. We just got a special kind of release here. Well, yeah, it's just a single barrel mm. over basically the vatted release. So. Hmm. You need these on your shelf. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with this. At that price, the quality that's 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 inside this bottle is top notch. Even if it's thirty dollars, say it's five dollars more than the standard, it's worth it. And the only way you're going to be able to tell those look for the little uh, bronze mm -hmm. round sticker on the side. Right. But I'm it, using. See what finger I'm using. You're using uh, like a uh, finger near your ring finger. It's right at you. I noticed it. It was on you kind sale. of got a knuckly. I got it, I got it at Kmart. <laughs> Did you now? You got like a knuckly finger though. You're, <clears throat> uh, my, your fingers are, are knobby. You have knobby fingers. And we're going to scotch it, you scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>